How's it going, everybody? You look better? I'm um, a lot better than yesterday. Um, I was like pooped out yesterday, guys. Uh, it's probably going to be a shorter stream today because honestly, I'm just a little bit tired, but I figured we'll do like a, a short like story time stream of, uh, of the uh, most of the weekend and stuff. Um, pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Um, hope you had fun. It was pretty fun, honestly. It was pretty fun. Um, I got to see a lot of my friends. That was the main reason I was going. I'll tell you guys, the biggest, the, the most awkward thing is, so people try and talk to you, right? And they'll they'll be like, um, they'll be like, oh hey, what what's uh what artists are you looking forward to? And I'm just like, uh, I don't know. I'm just here because because my friends told me to go. <laughs> so I think that was the most awkward thing because like some people will try and like you know conversate with you, and that's the first thing they ask. It's like a music thing, right? So they'll just be like, oh hey, like what music do you like? And I'm like. I don't know. I'm just here because uh, they told me to. <laughs> um, so, um, overall, it was pretty fun, though. Um, I'm probably going to, pr pretty much this whole stream, I'm just going to tell you guys, you know, pretty much how it went and all that. Um, that's most of the plan. Not going to be a super long stream because um, I'm kind of pooped out. I'm sure you guys can tell. My eye bags are bigger. I'm pooped out. I don't drink enough water, all sorts of things. But, um, yeah. Reese, thanks for the five gifted. And Manda, thanks for the five gifted also. You still look okay? That's good. Guys, yesterday I looked so scuffed because I... I'm going to be honest. I, I wasn't even planning on going um, a, a second day. But like, you know, Tony and Mr. Lang came to town. So I, what was I supposed to do? Say no? Um, but I, I can tell you guys the whole story of what happened pretty much. Uh, if I'm completely honest, I'm stalling for the next about 10 minutes so people can show up. So I don't have to tell the same story again. Um, but like I said, probably a shorter stream today, guys, because I'm a little, you know, a little pooped out. Um, we're just gonna we're just gonna talk about the weekend. Hopefully it was fun. Um, and yeah, let's see. His eyes are so red right now. Um, are they? they I I don't think they are today. I feel way better today. Yesterday they might have been. You look more tanned. Uh, it's probably because I was actually in the. The dangers of the outside world and the sunlight got me so um i mean yeah that, that probably did it um astrid thanks for the five gifted um let's see keck w I, hey, look guys it's true i rarely go outside so i'm pretty sure i get um i get sunburned really really fast so all right um, streamer went to the outside world. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Um, Trinity, thanks for the sub and Lorna. Did you have fun? Yeah, it was pretty fun. I, I think realistically, there's no chance I ever go two days. That's just too much. I was pooped out after the first day, so I don't think we could ever, uh, don't think we could ever do two days again. I just did it because, you know, Tony, Mr. Lang flew in. I, I, I felt like I really should, you know? Then Tony went wacko mode with a helicopter, so... <laughs> um, you know, didn't have too many choices there, I think. Um, okay, guys, I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to call anyone out here, but I'm just going to say, all right, when we first... So we didn't know... Tony kind of... Uh, Tony and Mr. Lang kind of surprise came because um, we, didn't, we didn't know they were coming. But I'm, I'm just going to say, Tony says, I don't know if I can go to EDC, guys. I've taken too many days off this month, and I... You know, I'm losing a lot of money. I, I got to I gotta work more, you know? Um, so instead of working more, he comes here and uh, buys a helicopter. And I'm just like, what happened? Do you, need, you need to save some money because you've been spending too much and you haven't been working. So I, I don't know, but I think it's cool. It's super cool. Um, but yeah, it was Tony's idea. You know, he likes the fancy stuff. And he, he actually paid for it. It was really expensive. Um, but it was cool. I mean, I I say he's crazy, but I mean, he has good ideas. He's a pretty cool, pretty cool guy. Um, exposed. Okay, I mean, guys, it's true. You guys, you guys heard it, didn't you? He was like, guys, I I took like ten days off already. I gotta I gotta get back to work. I gotta get on the grind again. Then he flies over for one day, rents a helicopter, buys a super expensive dinner, all this crazy stuff, and I'm just like, okay. Um, but it's cool. I think it'd be a lot less fun if Tony wasn't there. That's for sure. Um, 
True, he did say that. Yeah, but it's not a bad thing. Tony, he's an awesome guy. Um, let's see. Annika, thanks for the sub. And Daria. Anyways, guys, it's been about five minutes. Usually, I try and stall for at least ten, but I don't know how I'm going to stall anymore. So, oh, Ken, thanks for the five gifted. Ken, it's a whole bunch of gifted. Thanks a bunch. Um, how's Mr. Lang? Yeah, you're super cool. Your voice sounds deeper. It's probably from all the yelling. Look, guys, I, I don't know. I, I feel like meeting someone at a, a music thing is like the worst place to meet someone. Because you can't even talk to each other. You have to yell at each other all the time. Every time you talk to each other, you just have to shriek like a banshee or something. Or nobody can understand what you're saying because the music's so loud. Like, all right, guys, I, I'm going to be honest. I made this joke uh, too many times this weekend. You, you ever hear when someone says, like, the music makes you feel something? I think this was the first time the music made me feel something because it was so strong that it would literally vibrate like my bones or something. And I felt like I was dying. Um, like it wasn't, it wasn't like a terrible experience, but I actually thought I was dying. Like one time it, the bass was so strong. I felt like it was going to exterminate me. Cause like I could feel like my, my throat was jiggling. This sounds so weird to say, but Legit, my throat was jiggling from how strong the bass was. And, like, I, I think I was getting choked. They should have been playing Corpses song is what they should have done. But, <laughs> um, actually, guys, it, like, I didn't know music got that loud. Luckily, I had ear earplugs, uh, which helped a lot. But it was, uh, yeah, it was something. It, it was definitely something. I did, it, it was part of the fun. I mean, it's an experience. I, I don't know if I could go a lot. The people that go every day are actual wackos. Like, they're crazy. Um, but yeah, super, super crazy. I think that was the first time the music made me feel something because it was so loud. It, it kind of hurt a little bit, but, um, it was an experience, I suppose. Uh, anyway, um, yay earplugs. Yeah, I guarantee you it's better with earplugs for sure. Um, if you guys ever go, or even if you've gone before, I highly recommend earplugs because I'm not going to lie. It's so loud. You can still hear all the music anyway, so it's not really... It doesn't even make it worse. It just makes it more comfortable because it's still so loud. You can literally feel and hear the music even with earplugs in. So that's what I would say. Um, Banana and Soft. Thanks for the sub and anime. Was the music good at least? Guys, I I hate to say this, but like honest opinion, I don't even know what's happening. Here's, here's my... Oh, man. Do I say... I'm just going to say... I don't even care. Okay. Here's what happened. Basically, they play a song that you all know and recognize they'll play some song that like everyone knows the words to it for about 15 seconds and the drop happens and then it, everything starts shaking and you can't hear what's happening you just start shaking because the bass is so high that's every single song i don't know that's what happens they play some song everyone recognizes you start singing along for about 15 seconds then the quote-unquote drop happens and then you can't tell what's happening because it's just shaking so hard it kind of hurts a little bit and that's every single song i I mean, it's cool if you like dancing. I don't, but that's pretty much my experience with it for the most part. Um, I don't know. Um, I I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying that's what happens. Um, yeah. Let's see. Love, Lisa, uh, Twilight. Thanks for the subs. The Squid Game Remix. Guys, they start like, they cut all the music and started playing the Squid Game theme. And I was just like, well... I think I'm going to die here, guys. Um, it's all over. Uh, we just got baited in the Squid Games. It actually scared me. It wasn't even like a remix. It was just legit that like that weird song. I don't know if it's DMCA, but it, I was actually just like, wait, was this a bait? Like I, I legit started crouching because I was like, if I get shot, hopefully the person next to me gets taken out first. You know, from the snipers in the, the red light, green light game. But um, I don't know, guys. <laughs> it was kind of awkward. But, um, obviously it wasn't real, but it was a good prank. It was, it was a fun experience for sure. I do think I'd probably only go like one day, uh, just cause more days are, you know, a little crazy. You crouched? I actually crouched, guys. Like, I was just like, what, am I okay? I'm like, go like this. Um, so, I don't know. Manda, thanks for the five gifted. It was really fun. I, I think I would only go one day next time and then rest the rest of the days. Um, but it was fun, yeah. Um, and it actually wasn't as crowded as I, th as I thought it would be. Like, uh, basically, if, if you didn't go into the, uh, the pits, or whatever you call it, um, 
it, it's it wasn't that crowded like uh, it was actually pretty spaced out except for in the dancing areas and I, I don't really dance so I, I didn't go there anyway um, takes a lot of energy it was I was so tired after the first day guys like like I'm just gonna say it the first day we went there and it was so fun it was amazing um, we got home at like or not home we got back to the hotel at like uh, what was like eight eight in the morning or something it was nuts but it, here's what i thought okay i was just like oh yeah I, I live here i'm just gonna go home and then show up the next day but here's basically what happened um we got to the hotel back at like 8 a.m or something um and then i was so tired i just slept there and then tony and mr lang show up the next day i don't have a change of clothes i don't have anything i'm so scuffed guys like that, that's why like the second day I looked ultra, ultra scuffed, guys. Like, the first day, I was all ready. I was like, you know, I blow-dried my hair. I had my little, my outfit. I was all ready. Second day, I was like, there's no way I'm going, guys. I'm so dead. I didn't bring a change of clothes. I didn't do anything. I looked so scuffed. And then, and then, uh, but, you know, Tony and Mr. Lang flew in, and I was like, you know, I barely get to see him. I, I just got to force myself to go. Um, so I went, and it was fun. Actually, you know what, guys? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull up two pictures, okay, to show you guys. I'm just, uh, oh, hold on, hold on, let me pull it up, um, to show you guys, pretty much, these two pictures will pretty much show you the entire vibe of what happened first day versus, uh, second day, um, all right, just give me one second, um, what's, oh, god, okay, look, guys, not gonna lie, I'm a scuffed streamer, so, uh, pictures i mean I, I didn't really take any pictures um you know everyone else did but guys i swear these two pictures will literally show you everything you need to know let me move my camera for a second um how do i do this now okay okay i, I should do studio mode before i leak something weird oops okay i, I did that wrong <laughs> Look, guys, it's been a minute since I've streamed. Okay, I'm just throwing it out there. It's been a minute. All right. <clears throat> Where is it? Where is it? Um. All right. Is it good? Man, I hope I don't leak anything, but here it goes. All right, guys, look. Look right here. This was day one. I was all ready, guys. Like, look at me. I got my little shark thing. Everyone else is wearing, like, Yvonne was a little bear. I think Blau was a blast. Like, Scar was a, a Snorlax. And, like, everyone was doing animal-themed creatures, right? So I was like, oh, hey, I have, like, this thing. It has a little tail. It's really cute. Um, so I was like, hey, I kind of like this outfit. The colors were good, like, the blue and the white. Super soft hoodie. It was great. So this was the first day, and I was all ready, guys. I was like, man, this is great. I actually really like this outfit a lot. It's kind of cute looking. Maybe the colors. I don't know. But um, I was all ready, guys. My hair looks soft. I blow-dried it, stuff like that. Um, and then... What happened was we went out. It was super fun. We came back at 8 a.m. I just fell asleep, like, on the floor of the hotel or something because I was so tired. I woke up the next day, and then Tony and Mr. Lang were like, Yeah, guys, we're at the hotel now. You ready to go? And I'm just like, I, 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 I'm I, dead. I, I can't do it. I can't. I didn't bring a change of clothes. I didn't bring, like, hair or anything. I didn't bring, like, my usual eyebrow. Nothing. I pretty much just woke up all scuffed. And I was like, you know what? I got to hang out with them. So there I was. And this picture pretty much sums up the next day. Look at me, guys. My eyeballs are not even open there. I'm like looking off in the distance in a random direction because I was barely awake. And like my hands are at my side. I'm just like, what? What was happening? Where, where am I? Where? Okay, actually, the helicopter ride was pretty cool. But guys, I, I was just like, what is happening right now? I was so lost. Um, and this isn't even my hoodie. This was Blau's hoodie. And then the other thing is everyone flames my shoes. Because why is it, everyone makes fun of my shoes? I don't know why. They're, they're comfortable. They're comfortable, and I'm not going to lie. Those are, like, the only pair of shoes I even have. The other shoes I have are leather shoes. All right, look, guys. I'm, I'm just going to say it, all right? Full leather shoes. They get so sweaty, man. They get so sweaty. I, I just don't like them. Like, um, these shoes, they're slip-ons, so they're comfortable, and your feet don't smell as bad. Other people have leather sneakers, and sure, maybe they look a little better or something, but they smell so bad and you sweat a lot. It's real bad, real bad, guys. I'm just saying. So, you know, maybe I don't look cool, but at least I'm comfortable. 
But anyway, you, you can tell in this picture, guys. Like, I'm, I'm, hold on, hold on. Where's, look at this. Look at this, guys. My eyes, I don't even think my eyes were open. I didn't even know where I was at the time because I was so tired. Like, I, I was like, for sure, guys, I'm, I'm not going, I'm not doing any of this. I, I'm out of here, you know? But they were like, guys, I, the, Tony was like, I got a helicopter. You got to go. Like, it's, it's, we flew out here. And I was like, all right, I got to do it. I got to do it. So, Second day, I was ultra scuffed, ultra tired. I was not ready at all. But the first day, I was ready. Super ready. Look at that. Look at that old shark outfit. It's pretty cute looking. <laughs> um, anyway, so it's, it was super fun, guys. Um, they're just dragging you. Hey, look, guys, I'm not very fashionable. You guys know that, right? Um, anyway, I'm going to get rid of that because... Um, all right. Is this, is this working? Oh, okay. Anyway... Um, he's fancy. I don't know, guys. I thought it was a, a nice thing because everyone was dressed up as animals of some sort, so it kind of worked out. Um, but yeah, the second day I was I was just pooped out like crazy. I was like falling asleep half the time. But I'm I'm so glad I got to meet Mr. Lang and everyone. Like, hopefully we can visit again when I'm less dead. Um, is what I'm hoping for. It's just the shoes. Well, guys, everyone just makes fun of my shoes. But what am I gonna do? It's all I got. Um, and also I was actually late to the, I, I didn't get a, uh, fully get, like get all my stuff. Cause, um, so here's what happened guys. I, I woke up late and I was late to the hotel. Um, and I missed like the bus or whatever it is to go there. So I, I ended up having to, uh, go on a different one. Um, so it, it was kind of unfortunate, but I was like late guys. It was crazy. So basically here's, here's how it went, right? I think it was Friday. And I was like, I woke up like 2 p.m. I didn't know the thing was at 5. I thought it was like late at night or something. Like, I don't know. So the thing was at 5. And I got to the hotel a little bit late. Um, so I ended up uh, going with like Lily and, and I think Lily, Toast, a bunch of people. Because their bus was a little bit later. So I just went with them. Um, but yeah, I was originally going to go with like, you know, Ray, Leslie. Like there was multiple buses. There's a lot of people there. Um... But I was late for that, just missed it. Um, I was kind of, it's kind of weird to say, but I, I'm kind of glad that I was a little late because I ended up hanging out with Lily and Toast a lot and I hadn't seen them in a long time. And Yvonne, and so, there's a lot of people. I don't want to like read off like a few names and forget some, but you know, the whole the whole squat, Scara too, of course. Um, I'm for sure not going to read every single, you know, but, but you know, it, it's cool. I hadn't seen them in a long time. It was really fun. Um, but yeah, I just legit guys, I didn't know what I was supposed to wear. I was like, what do people wear to these things? And then everyone's like, yeah, we're going to some kind of animal creature. So I was like, okay, I have like this, this you know, shork thing. Um, and there we go. So I, I ended up being too late for the first, uh, for, the, for the first journey or something. And then, um, yeah, but it was cool. I liked the outfit. Second day was a lot tougher. Um, I'll be honest, guys. I did not think I would enjoy it very much. And to be honest... I, I think I did, but I'm not sure. Like, the music was really loud. I think if I didn't have earplugs, I would have left much, much sooner. That's for sure. Um, yeah. Um, let's see. Stream. It's going to be a short stream today. I'm just talking about the thing. Um, I think we went to... I forgot where we went to dinner, but... Yeah, I think we just went there. Um, we just did a lot of walking. Guys, I did not know. It felt like, you know, like when you go to a theme park and you walk around for like ages? That was us. The crazy thing is some people walk around and dance all the time. It's crazy. Um, Karina, thanks for the sub. Did you kiss any girls? You even need me to answer that? Uh, the answer is I don't think girls even got close to me because girls aren't into me, but that's okay. You know who was cool though? Man, am I really going to expose my friend again? Um... You know, I, I'm, I'm not going to say who. I'm sure you guys can guess. But there's a certain friend of mine, all right, who girls are into. Yeah, okay, and people are already saying, yeah, it's, look, guys, I, I don't know how he does it, all right? He's a cool guy. Maybe it's the hair or something. But, yeah, I mean, he's, you know, he's a cool guy. He's a cool guy. That's all I'm going to say. Um, but for me, I just kind of sat around with my friends. Uh, and that's, that's pretty much for the most of it. We walked around. Guys, you know what the, what the biggest scam was there? All right, I, I had to Google this because I was... There's this place... Okay, it's spelled Wagyu, right? W-A-G-Y-U. There's a place in there 
It said it sold Wagyu. They spelled it W-A-Y-G-U. And it was like $20. And they're like, guys, it's Wagyu noodles. And then Michael was like, oh, that sounds pretty good. Let's order it. So he spent $60 buying us some noodles. And like, I, I kid you not, guys, it was legit like some, some rice noodles with meat juice and like Costco sausages. And it was $20 for a small bowl. I, I know it's like a festival food or whatever, but that was the biggest scam I've ever seen. First of all, they spelled Wagyu wrong. And I, I think I understand why, because it obviously wasn't real Wagyu. It was straight up, it was a Costco sausage with some white noodles and I think meat juice or leftover oil or something. I, I, I'm not sure. It was, it was like, and it was $20. It was crazy. Um, not the Costco sausage. Look, look, guys. I like Costco sausage. I usually, I like to cook it with some onions, and it's pretty good. But $20 for a tiny bowl of Costco sausage and, and the white noodles you get in, uh, what dish do you get that in? Like, I'm not completely sure, but it's just like white rice noodles. And like, it didn't even have sauce. It was just leftover meat juice, I'm pretty sure. And like, it didn't taste terrible, but man, was that a scam. And, and the, the biggest scam is they named it Wagyu, which was like Wagyu spelled wrong. It is very strange. Um, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, so it was pho. Pretty, yeah, similar, yeah. Except without like any of the good flavors. It was just, it was just like salty oil and, and Costco sausage for $20. But, you know, they don't let you bring food in. So it's like you eat that or you starve. Danny posted a picture of it. Guys, legit, it's a scam. It's legit, it was a scam. But you have no choice, right? Um, Gothica, thanks for the five gifted. Gothica, it's a whole bunch of gifted. Thanks a bunch. And uh, Madison and Miles, thanks for the sub also. Were you nervous to fly in the helicopter? I definitely was, guys. I'm not going to lie. We got in the helicopter, and it started jiggling. It, it, it was like, it was really shaky at first. Like, it got smoother once we got in the air. But when we were first, like, taking off, it started shaking. And I swear, it went sideways. It went sideways, and I was like, I think we're going to die. Um, it ended up being really fun, though, but... I don't know, guys. I don't know. Um, who was the pilot? Oh, I forgot his name. Um, I don't know. I was, I was just kind of chilling, you know. Um, but yeah, it was, it was pretty exciting. Tony's crazy. I don't, I don't think we could go often because of how expensive it was, but I don't know. Molly, thanks for the sub, and Rack. I'm glad they came. Hopefully we can plan it out better, like, next time. I feel like it was so rushed. Not, it was still super fun, but it was really rushed uh, that time. So, uh, what are you doing today? We're just going to chill for a bit, talk to chat. It's going to be a shorter-ish, probably, stream. Um, yeah, it was a fun weekend. Did you see Blau's shoes? Guys, you know it's awkward? Okay, so me and Blau both had our shoes get made fun of. At least my shoes were cheap. I feel bad for him because his shoes were expensive and they still got flamed. I'm just like, man, my shoes are like 10 years old and they cost $20. Like, I'm not going to feel bad if you flame them because they're old. They cost $20 and it, I didn't think they were good. Blau spent like a lot of money on his shoes and people still said it didn't look good. And I'm like, man, that must, that, that sucks. Um, I never said that and I'm pretty sure he's busy right now. So you'll never see that. But, man, I, I felt bad. Because, like, for me, it's like, yeah, sure, you know. Like, yeah, they're old. They're not, like, fancy or anything. Um, so I don't really care. But for his, his are just like, oh, man, he got roasted for that. And it was expensive, too. Um, I thought they looked fine to me, but I don't know. Um, older, thanks for the sub. Um, I feel bad for him. You shouldn't, guys, because at the end of the day, he wouldn't buy it if he didn't like it. Most important thing is that he likes it, right? Or something like that. Do you think uh, Mr. Lang enjoyed himself? I hope so. Um, I don't know if he really did, but I think he was glad to see everyone. I just wish I wasn't so scuffed the second day, guys. Like, I, I went over like a second ago, but I was just not ready. Like, legit, we showed up, we got back to the hotel so late, and then I just, I woke up, and like, they were like, hey, we're here, let's go hang out. And I was just like, but, but, but how, how? I'm, <laughs> I'm like barely awake. Um... He looked happy. I think he was. I think he was. Hopefully we can hang out again um, sometime. Like more planned out, I hope. Today, was, it was, this time was a little bit rushed, but it was fun. Um, how was a Buddha IRL? He was really tall. Guys, so many of my friends are super tall. I don't think I'm ultra short, okay? I, I'm like 5'9", which is like, I don't know. It's like not tall, but it's like, I don't think I'm ultra short. 
All of my friends are like seven feet tall, I swear. It's crazy. Like, Broden, ultra tall. Uh, Mr. Lang, ultra tall. It's crazy, I tell you. But, um... Any games today? Probably not. We're just chilling for the most part. Shiro, thanks for the sub. And Zendrite. And Rojo. Um, he said the word? What word? No. Oh, Hassan. Yeah, Hassan. Alt, ultra, ultra, also ultra tall. I kind of combine the words. Um... Let's see. Oh. Did you call him Mr. Lang? I think so. I'm not sure. Um, Fate, thanks for the sub. Five months is a pretty long time. Thanks a bunch. Edison, also ultra tall. Um, let's see. 5'9 is average. I suppose so. Um, I don't know. Let's see. You're taller than me. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Press F for cinematic view. Guys, it was legit kind of scary. I thought it was a great idea. You take pictures. Um, I don't usually take too many pictures. Um, I think Yvonne took one the first day, and then the second day there were some more. But, man, I, I was scuffed the second day. I'm not going to lie, guys. I was, like, barely awake. Um, I was, like, moving about. I was eating food, but I don't know. Um, let's see. Um, taller than me? Well, I don't know, guys. It's not, a height doesn't matter that much, does it? Um, oh, and thanks for the sub. Um, Tony's shirt with holes. He did wear a shirt with holes in it. The weird thing is he wore a shirt with holes in it and then wore a jacket over it and you couldn't see the holes anymore. But I don't know. I mean, Tony dresses fancy, that's for sure. Um, Quake, Element, thanks for the subs. And Vicky, thanks for the five gifted, Vicky. Did you drink? I, I didn't drink too much. I'll be honest, guys. Like, I turn really red. I, I don't know. if Even if I drink, like, a little bit, I turn really red. So I, I usually try not to drink too much. But I don't know. Oh, uh, Ghost. Thanks for the sub. How are the fireworks? Yeah, guys. I, I don't want to expose them. I'm pretty sure some of that stuff must have been illegal or something. Because, like, they were launching those fireworks so close to us. Like, it looked really, really cool. But I'm pretty sure, I think like Danny or someone, there was like a flaming leftover firework that straight up landed on him. I, I'm pretty sure it's not legal to launch fireworks that close to like bystanders. Because legit a flaming thing landed on someone. And like, I was just like, Jesus, what if it landed in your, uh, it could be da uh, like dangerous. Um, but I mean, it, it kind of worked out, I guess. I don't know. Um, prehistoric, thanks for the sub. And Fia, and Yumeria. Um... Did it blow up? No, no. It was just like a little like burning piece of paper or something. I don't know. Kind of scary. Kind of scary. No one got hurt, I assume. But, yeah. Um, did you watch the little Nas X performance? You know, I, I know I played Among Us with him a long time ago. I, I had no idea who I was listening to, guys. I think I said this earlier, but here's how I'd sum up every single DJ. Oh, man. I'm going to get... I'm going to get canceled or something, but... Look, guys, like, genuinely, this is what happened every... No matter who I was listening to, this is what happens. They'll play some song that everyone knows the words for, for about 15 seconds. And then the the bass comes on, the, the, the drop or whatever happens, and then you can't hear anything and everything starts vibrating. And that's pretty much it. They'll play, like, Country Roads Take Me Home for 15 seconds, and then, bam, it's like... Bzz, bzz, and then it just starts shaking. You feel like it's choking you because it's shaking your chest from the bass. And that's it. Every single DJ, I, I don't know, maybe, I, like, I don't know what it was, but I, I couldn't tell the difference. Like, they just play a song you recognize for about, like, 15 seconds or so, and then it just, the bass comes on, and it starts trying to kill you. And that's pretty much it. So, um, did you enjoy it? I mean, it was fun, and I hope that's not, like, an offensive thing to say, but that's pretty much what happened to me, guys. Like, like, they play a song, everyone's like, yeah, I know this. They start singing along, and then bam, it comes, everything shakes. You feel like you're choking a little bit because it's vibrating your lungs, and then, like, that's pretty much it. I, I, I don't know. I couldn't tell, like, I couldn't tell who was doing what. It is just a lot of loud noises and stuff, so, um, I mean, it seemed pretty fun, though. I think a lot of people enjoyed it, um, but that's pretty much how I'd sum it up. <laughs> um, social, thanks for the sub, and block. Um, 
That's how it is. Yeah, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much what happened. Um, that's why I don't go to them. I thought it was fun just to hang out with friends. I, I don't think I would go a lot. Um, but, yeah. Um, Zadja, thanks for the sub. Would you go again? Um, I think I would go again for like one, one day maximum. There's like no chance I go two days. Um, I think my favorite part was wearing my, my, uh, first, my outfit on the first day. That was pretty fun. Um, it was a nice, I thought it was a cute looking outfit and it was really comfortable too. So I was pretty happy with that. Um, I'm going to work on getting new shoes. No, I'm just kidding. I have no idea. I don't know, guys. Everyone hates my shoes, but I don't blame them. I just wear them because they're comfortable. Look, I I'm just going to buy some Crocs. All right? I heard Bretman likes Crocs a lot, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I don't know. I Look, I, I feel like I don't go outside enough to buy new shoes. All right? I don't know. Like, I, I, I go outside once a month. Am I really going to buy brand new shoes to go out once a month? Probably not. I don't know. Um, just seems like a waste of... Uh, you know, it's not that... Okay, this happens every time I say I don't want to buy something. Okay? People will be like, oh, you can afford... You can afford $100. It's not about that. If I use something once a month, I just don't feel like I need to buy it that much. You know? I, I don't know. Is that a weird... Is that a weird way to, like, think about it? Like, if I use something once a month, I'm not going to buy a fancy, you know, like, thing for it. Just because I don't use it very often. I don't know. Um, Panda, thanks for the sub, and Suki. Huh? Um, the voice, I don't know, that's like the, 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 the trigger to Twitch chatter voice or something. I, I have no idea. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, that's just how I feel. Um, yeah. Let's see. Um. Hmm. Um, at least a decent one. Well, hold on. Well, guys, what's wrong with these shoes? Look, look. I know people don't think they're stylish, but they're comfortable, they're easy to put on, they're well ventilated so your feet don't get ultra sweaty and smelly, so where exactly is the problem? People call it ugly. And I'm just like, guys, guys, it's it's not like, look, I, I'm like not the coolest guy out there anyway. You think I changed my shoes, now I look good? Like, that's not how it works, guys. That's just not how it works. I changed my shoes and now I'm cool? No, I'm still gonna be like a, a weird nerdy dude that goes out once a month and is still awkward. So like, you can tell me if I buy $500 shoes, I'm gonna look cool, but I'm not going to. I'm still gonna be an awkward weird dude in a shark outfit that... <laughs> anyway, only, thanks for the sub. And Lily, and sorry, thanks for the sub also. Um, but I mean, maybe guys, I don't know. I just wanna make sure they're comfortable. Cause like, I know a lot of shoes people think look cool, make your feet really sweaty and kind of smelly. And I don't like that. So it's, you know, I'm I, I'm a comfort first kind of person. It's like being comfortable and, uh, you know, that's what I think though. Um, Halloween costume? Uh, I haven't thought about it too much. Not sure. Um, yeah. Anyway. A lot of people uh, bought the thing. Yeah, guys, I I'm not going to lie. Um, when Yvonne posted the picture, I, I saw some people replying with like a fake link. So don't don't trust random links on the internet. I got, I think I got it from Amazon or something. So I, I, I don't know. Um, I, I just, yeah, don't, don't get scammed out there, guys. Like some people are going to get scammed for sure from fake links. I got it from Amazon. I, I don't know if that's the right or wrong place to get it. But Amazon, usually you can trust. Sometimes there's weird sites there. But, yeah, that's where I saw it from. So, um, yeah. Anyway. Um, Akala, thanks for the sub. Hmm. Um, why didn't you wear the light-up shoes? I, I forgot. I didn't charge them, and they were still in the box. Um, and I, I was late to the hotel already. I didn't have enough time to, like... I actually... Okay, so Tony, who gave... It, it, the, Tony gave me this chain last time. And I was going to wear this, but I actually forgot to bring it also because I was in such a rush. Um, but he brought his, and we were almost going to be matching. But then we weren't because I, I just I was in a rush, and I missed everything. So, yeah. Um, would you ever dye your hair? Maybe if I wanted, like, maybe. I'm just afraid to bleach it for the most part. That sucks. I mean, it's just because the trip was so rushed, guys. We just weren't ready, you know? 
Just weren't really ready for it. Uh, it was just a really fast trip that kind of just happened. It was fun, though. I mean, you don't have to do it perfectly. I think the important thing is we were all spending time together. I think that was the most important part. Uh, Bumpy, thanks for the sub. And Fluffy. Let's see. Um, do you have a Nintendo Switch? Yeah, of course I do, yeah. Um, green hair? Probably not. I'm going to look like the Joker. It'd be kind of kind of manka champ i feel like <laughs> um i feel like okay, i like the color green but i don't know if i do green hair like the only green hair i think looks really good is i don't know yeah i have no idea um yeah let's see hmm. is attack spelled wrong on the hoodie guys i i have no idea i've never even worn it before i i just got it like sort of as a meme sort of so, I don't really, um, yeah, I don't really know, but, uh, now, yeah. erased. Thanks for the sub. Blue hair? Guys, there's only one person with blue hair, and, uh, he's a good friend of mine, um, but I don't want to copy that look, you know? Um, let's see. Oh, uh, base. Thanks for the sub. Like seeing your real life expeditions on Twitter? Oh, God. You know, it's funny, guys. Like, I don't even post anything about what I do. It's always on, like, my friends' uh, my friends' stuff. Like, I'm always just on my friends' channels. Like, I usually don't post it just because, I don't know. I only post pictures of Bimbus, I'll be honest. Um, Joan, thanks for the sub. Um, whole hair or just the tips? I, If I got my hair dyed, I'd probably get it all dyed. I... I feel like tips, I don't know, man. That's I just don't like how that looks. Um, I think it can look good, but I, I think I'll try and go for something plain. I'm not, look guys, I'm not a very fancy standout-y kind of person, you know? I'm, I'm plain and, you know, stuff like that. Um, Southern, thanks for the sub, and Zach. Is Bimba still with you? Uh, nope, my family went home already, uh, which I, for various reasons, I think it's a good thing that uh, they went home before I uh, came back, so. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Mercy update. What does that mean? I'm assuming you mean merch. Um. Hopefully it happens. I don't know. Light brown hair. Yeah. I don't really know, guys. We'll see. Uh, did you meet any fans at EDC? I think I like maybe once or twice. Man, guys, I, I could expose this one fan, but I really shouldn't, so I'm not going to. Kind of want to, though. But Isabel, thanks for the sub also, and Zach. Um, expose? Oh, man, I, I can't, guys. I feel too bad, but look, I'm just going to say, sometimes people, like, kind of know you, but don't actually know you, but they want to take a picture with you anyway because they're like, oh, maybe I just should just do it because I kind of maybe know this guy, but not really. Um, that's probably all I should say. Um, <clears throat> Purple, thanks for the 500 bits. Um, no, say it, guys. I, I can't. I can't. It'll be too easy to find, and genuinely, I'm I'm afraid of them. Uh, you know, getting like like uh, you know, back. I don't know, backlash, something bad. Um, you know, for that. Um, yeah. All all I'm gonna say is this. If someone says they're a big fan of mine and they tag me and then, you know, all that and then they don't even follow me, it's kind of weird, champ. But that's just what I think. Uh, but don't go looking for it. I, I think it's a funny story is what I think. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's not a fan. That's what I think, too. And it, it just makes me feel awkward. But, like, I don't know. Um, yeah. Anyway, isn't it normal? Oh, no, no, it's totally fine if someone sees me and they're like, hey, can I get a picture? That's fine. But, like, it, it just makes me feel so awkward when that happens, you know? Um, yeah. I think I saw it. Yeah, I mean, it's all public knowledge, so I'm not really doing anything. But, yeah, what are you going to do, right? Feels bad. I mean, it doesn't feel that bad. It's just kind of awkward. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> did Abby go too? I think so, yeah. I hope she had fun. I feel like, honestly, I feel like I, I kind of, 
I kind of got to say, I feel like we were both really shy and kind of out of our element. So it was pretty cool. Um, yeah. Um, let's see. Was this EDC? Yep, that was pretty cool. Cloud no, I don't think it was that, guys. I think it was just like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they kind of knew me, but didn't really know me that well. Um, so, yeah. Ethan, thanks for the sub. And Laria. Um, anyway, was it, guys, I don't want to answer any more about that specific situation. I, I just think, I genuinely think it's just a funny story. I don't care at all, but, um, I'm just, look, there's some crazy dudes out there that will find any reason to go after someone. Um, and, and I just don't want that to happen. Um, and if it does, I hope it doesn't, but I mean, it's, it's weird. I think it's just a funny story. It kind of like, um, what's it called? There's this time in the past where, uh, I think someone was like, I'm a huge fan of this person, and they didn't recognize me at all, and we play together every day. And they're like, hey, you dude over there, can you take the picture of us? And I was like, oh, you watch all their videos, you've never seen me before. But, I mean, I think it's just a funny story, guys. It's totally fine. Um, I, I just hope nothing bad comes from it, because it's like, I think it's just a funny story. But, yeah. Um, Julius, thanks for the sub. Let's see um toast oh god <clears throat> yeah i mean it, it's okay guys it's not it's not a bad thing i think it's genuinely it's a funny story in my opinion um but our word and fooey thanks for the sub also and mz thanks for the sub also um let's see i thought it was edc and Orlando. oh no it's in las vegas is the one i was at um let's see Tail, thanks for the sub also. Let's see. How was the weather? Um, it was pretty cold, actually. Pretty cold. Sly, thanks for the sub and tail. Hmm. All right. Um, how long were you there? A little too long, if I'm honest with you. A little bit too long, but, um, yeah. Hmm. Was it cool seeing your old friends again? Man, it feels so weird saying that. Because I know ever since we stopped playing Among Us, you know, like, I haven't been hanging out with a lot of friends that I used to hang out with a lot. Because there, there haven't been games that we can play together, you know? So that makes it a lot tougher. So it feels weird to be like, oh, yeah, you're old friends. And, like, I'm like, I mean, we're still friends. We just didn't, we hung out less, you know? But, I mean, it was cool seeing them, of course. It just feels weird to say it like that, you know? Um... How's the view from the heli? That was pretty cool. Um, is is Etic only for two days? I think it's for longer than that, but like I, I didn't go there for the whole time. Um, I think realistically I can do one day, and that'll be about it. Because otherwise I'll be a little too tired. Way too tired, actually. Um, Void, thanks for the sub, man. Arson. You have a fear of heights? I don't really know if I have a fear of heights. I do have a fear of falling off of heights and... Uh, not being able to survive that. Uh, but I, I would imagine anybody has that fear, generally. Um, yeah, fear of falling. I would hope that everyone has that fear. Because if you don't, I'm concerned for your safety. But um, <laughs> that's why, like, if, when people ask me if I'm afraid of heights, I'm like, yes, because I don't want to fall and splat. But I would hope that everyone is a little bit afraid of that. Otherwise, I'll be concerned. Um, but I don't know. All right. Uh, Spaz, thanks for the sub. And Mari. Skydivers. Guys, I think skydivers can enjoy it because they're operating under the assumption that they're not going to slam into the floor. Um, I think... I'm, I'm assuming that if they fell without a parachute, they would be much more scared, I think. Uh, so I, I would argue that skydivers are probably still afraid of falling down because if they didn't have a parachute, I think... I'd like to think they're scared of that. Um, otherwise, that would be NVL, and I think they're going to get banned. Um, anyway, um, Jamie, thanks for the 200 bits. And Alpha, thanks for the sub also. All right. You going to dress up for Halloween? I don't know. I don't really have too many plans to. So, I mean, if I can think of something, like realistically, guys, easiest thing to do is um, just uh, do a squid game thing. <laughs> I don't know. I just do a squid game thing. I'm going to just get the, the little track suit, put it on, um, get number 28 on it. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. But um, 
Yeah, you just get the jacket, right? And then you close it. Um, I don't know. Um, the shark thing. I could just wear the... the. What, why is this so loud all of a sudden? I'm so sorry, guys. I pushed the wrong button. Lena, thanks for the five gifted. Guys, I pushed the wrong button. Um, okay. Anyway, uh, Lena, thanks for the five gifted. Lena and Aang, thanks for the sub also. My ears, was it that loud? I mean, it was probably extra loud, but it, it, it shouldn't have been so loud that it like killed you, I think. All right. Um, you going to Jay's concert? How do I say that? He didn't even mention it to me, guys. He didn't even mention it to me. We'll see, though. Uh, I think it's in L.A., right? Or something like that. Um, maybe. Don't know. Um, Pyro, thanks for the sub. D colon. I mean, he probably thought I wouldn't be able to make it, so we'll see. Um, let's see. Meet anyone from the Iron Mouse Minecraft server? Did any of them even go to the event? I don't think so. I don't know. Um, let's see. Where's the Savage music? Oh, forgot to turn it on, but... Um, you gonna play anything tonight? It's probably gonna be a shorter-ish kind of stream. We're just chilling with everyone. Um, talking about talking about the journey and all that. Um, and that'll be that for most of it. Uh, I might, I might like... I don't know, gather some food or something like that. Did you meet X? Guys, did X actually go? Actual question. Did X go? He didn't go, did he? You know how I know he didn't go? I'm pretty sure he was still streaming half the time because I was watching it sometimes when I got back to the hotel room because I actually like watching his stream. He's a really super funny guy. Um, Corleone, thanks for the five gifted. And Doris and Adeline, thanks for the sub also. Let's see. Um... Uh, he didn't go. Ray was saying he was going. I mean, chat was spamming to me that he might be going. But I figured he wouldn't. I don't know. Um, yeah. Were you scared of the helicopter ride? A little bit, yeah. I saw his 100T podcast. X was on the 100 Thieves podcast? I did not know about that. But I'm going to be honest, guys. I don't really... Look, guys, I just play video games. That's all about all I got. That's pretty cool, though. Um, yeah. Uh, did you see a shootout? The what? Um, let's see. He called you a voice actor for Pokemon. What? Um, I have no idea, but is that a good thing? Maybe. Um, Rin, thanks for the sub. You gonna stream tomorrow? Uh, probably. I'm feeling a lot better today, so we'll probably get back into it soon. Hopefully. Uh, Moldy, thanks for the sub. He did? He complimented you? You know, he's super nice to me, guys. He's. I hope I get to meet him one day. Um, I know, like, realistically, it's pretty unlikely, because we're both dudes that stay at home a lot. Um, you know, and just, we do our thing on stream, play games. So it's unlikely, but one day, maybe. Maybe. Um... Tokyo, thanks for the five dollars. Uh, Buddha swore too much while gambling. Did he? I don't know, guys. I mean, he he does swear a lot, but it's not like it's necessarily a bad thing. Um, Yo, Saikuno, I'm single. Just saying. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. I'm. I don't know if I should say I'm sorry or that's good for you or I, I don't know why. What? What? Um. Yeah, not sure what to say about that one, but. Um, Lamau, what? I don't know. I was just reading chat, guys. I'm chilling with chat. It's been a few days, hasn't it? Um, no. Um, let's see. Oh, big thanks for the sub. Uh, don't forget to eat. I never forget to eat, usually, but I don't know. Um, that's rough, buddy. Isn't that from The Last Airbender? Good line. Zeke, thanks for the sub, Zeke. And Xenon, thanks for the sub also. Um, did you sleep a little? Guys, I got so little sleep. Pretty sure my eye bags are humongous. Actually, my eye bags are always humongous. But I'll bet you today it's even bigger. I don't know. Um, what are you going to play today? 
Probably not too much. We're just chilling for a bit. Um, I'll probably get back on like stream streams, uh, probably tomorrow or something. But today it's gonna be like a short chill stream. We're just talking to talking to chat, updating them on the adventures we've been through. Um, how did how was Etic? It was pretty fun. I wish um, wish I was more prepared for it, but like I think we just go like one next time we just go one day and we call it there. Um, P, thanks for the sub. All right, will you play the new Mario Party? Uh, definitely. I think that'll be super fun. So I'm hoping for that. Um, do you still watch anime these days? Oh, not not quite as much, to be completely honest. Um, I haven't had time, and also between you and me, I, I don't know where to watch it. Uh, I uh, I allegedly have watched anime on you know kind of backwater foreign language websites uh, because it doesn't cost money, and I, I don't know what websites work anymore, and I don't know where to find it. And I don't want to buy subscriptions for English dubs, uh, so, um, and that's all I'm gonna say about that. Uh, all, all allegedly, it, none of that's actually true. I just made that up. I don't know why I did, but a anyway, robotic. Thanks for the stuff. And I've just been busy uh, lately, so, um, yeah. Anyway, um, all right. Oh, uh, Rin, thanks for the sub. English dubs guys did you see <laughs> I shouldn't even say this but I watched a squid game English dub a little bit and man that was uh that was something that was something guys I'm not gonna lie like I you okay guys I'm just gonna say it it was entertaining for a different reason like I thought the series was pretty good entertaining the English dub was actually very entertaining in a different kind of way I actually highly recommend the English dub. Just try it. I don't think you're going to finish the whole series, but I think if you give it a shot, it'll give you some kind of entertainment a little bit. Um, just saying. All I can say is uh, Sang Woo's like, grandma mother who's really old, I swear she sounds like she just came out of like high school or something because she sounds pretty young. Uh, but, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know how... Um, it's bad. Yeah, I, I don't think they quite planned for it and that's okay um but yeah I, i'm not sure <laughs> um you're a menace okay guys go you i would play a clip to prove it if i could but i remember hearing her and i was like wait that was like a 90 year old lady like that did not sound um <laughs> i don't know um jig thanks for the five gifted jig it's a whole bunch of gifted um sponsored by squid no no we're not but you know everyone's watching it you know it's really funny guys it, at the at the event, they started playing the red light, green light thing. They played the Squid Game song, and then they started playing the red light, green light thing. And then, like, when they said red light, I was I actually froze because I was like, look, look, I, I know we're at a fest, uh, an event, and it's probably not actually going to happen. But when they said red light, I actually was just like, oh, God, am I going to... I just froze there because I was like, just in case, everyone else is still walking like nothing's happening. And I'm just like, look, I mean, I... I you know, it's probably, I know it's just like an event and they're memeing, but like, I'm just, I, I don't mind standing for a minute. Like, I was just like, I'm just going to see what happens. You know, first couple tries, it's like nothing happens. And I'm like, okay, I think it's safe now, but um, <laughs> plus one IRL. Yeah, something like that. Can we try doing unban requests? I don't think we quite have enough yet. We, we got to wait for them to pile up more. Um, I can quickly check how many we have, but I highly doubt we have enough to, to go for it again. I'd imagine. Let me... Um, yeah, we only got like like 10 of them, so not very much. I, I think we're better off just waiting until there's a lot. Um, yeah. Um, I and Uber, thanks for the subs. Oh, and Muggle, thanks for the tier 3 also. And uh, Jua, thanks for the sub also. Um, just ban some chatters? Yeah, that's P.O. Box. Uh, I'll try to get to that soon, yeah. Um, I actually didn't get a lot of packages, which might be a good thing, but we'll get to that soon. Not not today, obviously, because uh, it's going to be a shorter stream today. Um, but yeah, we'll get to that soon. I mean, let's be honest, guys. There ain't too many games to play these days, okay? So you know we're actually going to get to it soon, because there ain't that much else to play. We have no choice but to get to it, because uh, we're in a game drought right now. So <laughs> unless we play Valorant for the 50th time, not that it's a bad game, just I don't know. Um, Kia, Ima, and Monkey, thanks for the subs. 
Um, let's see. Can you play silly what? I liked watching you in the gauntlet for... It was fun. Everyone there was super nice. Try streaming League again. I know everyone was watching Worlds or something last night. It's crazy. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Why short stream today? I just wanted to, like, chill with everyone for a bit. But I, I am still a little tired, you know? Big event on the weekend. So, yeah. Uh, Shu, thanks for the sub. Please play something. Guys, guys, there's plenty of streams to watch right now. What are you talking about? Who's, who's streaming? X is streaming right now. Ludwig's streaming right now. I mean, we're just chilling. And I promise you, we'll be back into it, like, soon. Uh, I think Miz is streaming. I don't know, guys. We're chilling for now. It's going to be a little bit of a shorter stream. But yeah, we'll be back tomorrow and the next day. Um, for now, I just wanted to hang out with everyone because I've been gone um, at the event and stuff. So catch up with everyone. Tell some cringe, cringe stories or something. I don't know. Um, you know what it reminds me of, guys? Remember, like, uh, I think it was last week. I took one day off. Like, guys, I, I had to double check. I streamed for 10 days back to back to back. 10 days in a row of streaming. I took one day off. I get so many messages of people saying, Saikuno, are you sick? Are you sick? Where where's the stream? Where's the stream, man? It it you took one day off? After 10 days in a row of nonstop streaming, one day off? How could you? You must be sick. Are you okay? And I was just like, I'm fine. I'm just taking one day off after 10 days in a row. Um, so I don't know, guys. But um, obviously, I do stream most days because at the end of the day, I play games anyway uh, most days. But look, guys, I usually take three days off a month. And of those three days off I take in a month, people are just like, are you dead? Are you, are you sick? Something happened? And I'm just like, no, man, it's one of my three days off in a month you know people with regular jobs they take two days off a week not including pto i'm just saying so usually people are taking like what like eight ten days off every month i i take three days off a month and then the one day i take off people are just like where do you go where do you, he's dying he's dying and sick and i'm just like well I, i'm just chilling this, this one day and so i don't know but um i mean most of the time i have nothing to do anyway so pretty rare to uh to just do that but um kelsey and phoenix and jenna thanks for the subs happy you had a good time yeah it was pretty fun i am so so tired though it's probably gonna take me a week to fix my sleeping schedule um so yeah um can we watch vids i don't know what videos we would watch um i know a lot of people like doing react content realistically people like watching react i'm not gonna lie guys you guys know those clip-stealing channels on YouTube? They'll get more views on the clips of people reacting to me than the actual clip of me. It's weird, but I kind of get why. It's like a two-for-one, right? You see someone else's point of view, and you see my clip. But it's weird, because it's like, people like seeing people react to me more than they like seeing the actual me. I, I don't know how that makes any sense, but... Um, yeah. Thumb, thanks for the sub. Um... Let's see. Is it physical exhaustion or mental? I don't know. Maybe both. I don't know. Um, yeah. You gonna dress up for Halloween? I'm not sure. Maybe. React to vines? I thought that website was dead or something. Is that is that thing still alive? I thought everyone used the TikTok or something now. I I, I have no idea. Um, there there people still use Vine. I, I legit thought that thing was dead and shut down. Um, okay, well, this just goes to show you guys how out of touch I am. Because I thought that, like, is, was it a website or an app or something? I, I don't know, but I thought it was shut down. Like, um, yeah. Anyway, Uma and Jai, thanks for the subs. Um, it is dead. That's what I thought, but everyone's telling me to use Vines or something. I, I thought it was TikTok these days, but I don't use TikTok either, realistically. So, no. Um, such a grandpa. I don't think. I mean, look, guys. I just, I just, I'm not big on social media and stuff. Like, I don't check it super often. I, I don't live under a rock, but 
I think I j I'm just a guy who likes to like live his life playing games, having fun, and that's it. I'm not dodging anything. I'm not avoiding anything. I'm just doing what's fun, you know? And I don't think checking Twitter every five minutes is fun. I don't know. I mean, maybe some people find that fun. There's nothing wrong with that. But I'd rather just go play some games with some friends or hang out with someone, like, you know? I'd rather just do things than check social media every single minute of every day. So calling people out, I mean, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. I'm just saying that I just want to do what's fun and I'm just trying to chill and I prefer to just go play games rather than checking, you know, internet things all the time. So I will say this though, I have no idea what happens, but apparently some big stuff's been happening while I've been gone. Um, and that's pretty much all I got. I, I don't know. I've been busy, guys. I've been hanging out with my friends all weekend. So, um, yeah. Um, Shy, thanks for the sub. And Apple, thanks for the sub also. And Uma. All right. Um, were Buddha and Abby cool? Yeah, they definitely were. Um, oh, uh, S2, thanks for the sub. And H. All right. Um, how's it feel to have friends? Pretty good most of the time, I imagine. Um, Dangus, thanks for the sub. Um, Ray? Oh, yeah. Uh, did Ray hit on another girl? I don't... I don't know, but I think girls may have gone for him, maybe. He's a pretty popular guy. Not that anything's wrong with that, but... Um, let's see... Keck W? It's not a bad thing necessarily. He's a popular guy. It's not. It's not a bad thing. Um, I don't. I don't even think he. Like I'm gonna be honest, guys. I don't think he even hits on. Like he's shockingly a really shy dude. Um, but the thing is, he's like you know he's young. He's good looking dude. He's successful. I mean, girls are into him. What, what are you gonna do? I don't think he actually hits on girls though. Like actually, we all meme about it and stuff like that. But he, he actually doesn't. I don't think he does. Girls go for him, though, for sure. Um, can't relate. Well, that's okay. <laughs> um, Chaotic, thanks for the sub. And Hazy. Um, <clears throat> and Reese, thanks for the sub also. Um, you took such good picks. I don't even remember taking many picks. I think I took one of uh, Tony and, and uh, Tori, I think. Um, let's see. Hmm. I really hope that he sees that girls are into him one day. Oh, I'm pretty sure Ray knows girls are into him, I would bet. <laughs> I would bet. Um, Tony and Tori? Oh, that's her GTA name. Whatever. You guys know. Look, look. It happens, all right? It happens. I mean, Tony's name is Tony in GTA, too. I... Um, anyway, uh, Dark, thanks for the sub. Wait, here's her name, not, not Tori in GTA? Well, that's awkward if it's not. Um. <laughs> I could have sworn it was. I don't know. Maybe I mixed it up. It is? Wait, then why is everyone upset? It was the right name. Sort of. I mean... Um, it, 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 if it's the right name, then what's wrong? I, I don't get it. It's like I call Blau Mickey sometimes, just out of reflex. Um, I, I don't think it's... I don't think it's like a bad, bad thing. Um, Spotlight, thanks for the sub. Do people call you Yuno? Sometimes on accident, but not all the time. Usually people stick to Sykuno, but I don't know. Um, let's see, you call Mr. Lang Mr. Exactly, I call... So you guys are telling me when I... I say I call Buddha Mr. Lang, and people are like, oh, that's kind of cute. Then I call Brit Tori, and they're like, I can't believe you didn't call her a real... At least double standards. Sometimes, guys. Sometimes, all right? I call him Mr. Lang, and they're like, oh, that's that's so cool that you call him by his GTA name. And then I call her Tori, and they're like, I can't believe you called her by her GTA name. That's disgusting, and you're not a good friend. And I'm just like, hey, no, it's like the same thing. Um, anyway, Rose and Triple, thanks for the subs. I, I think it's because the first time I met them was in GTA. So, like, I don't know. It just feels more... I, it's going to happen on occasion, so... Um. I don't know. Um, let's see. Um, would you go on an OTV podcast? The only problem with that is going... Well, 
sometimes they do they do it online i don't know if they do it on uh, the problem is going to la uh would be tough i think uh well it's not tough but it's like if i was already there maybe i don't think i would fly to la just for that though but i mean we'll see um because it is it is a big trip and i don't like getting out of my shell too much and we just went on this trip i can't go out that much guys um honest thanks for the 10 gifted honest it's a whole that's a whole bunch of gifted thanks a bunch honest for the 10 gifted um people are extra spicy when it comes to gta guys i shouldn't tell this story but there was a thing that happened to mickey the other day or I, I don't know exactly when it was but i really shouldn't tell this story i think it's a story for mickey to tell but i'll give you a quick summary of it there was a there's like a fan that recognized mickey in real life and they just straight up said they unfollowed him when he left cg and i was just like man then <laughs> The GTA fans do get a little intense sometimes. Uh, a little intense is crazy. Um, Kev, thanks for the sub. Um, I probably should have let Mickey tell that story. He must have already told it by now. It's a funny story. Um, but I think the lesson of the day is sometimes people get a little too invested. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, right? Because if they get that invested, that means, man, he's doing a great job, you know, telling a story. Um, but yeah, kind of, you know... Um, kind of weird. Um, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. That just means they're super into it. Um, it's like, uh, you guys ever watch, like, a TV series? You know Carl? He likes watching Survivor a lot, right? And he doesn't do it, but I'm sure someone out there, they get really into the show, and they're like, man, that dude should have been voted off, like, you know, or something like that. Carl's been talking to me a lot about Survivor. Anyway, um... So I'm just like, you know, it's not a bad thing. That means it's a good thing to watch because people are really invested. They really like it. Uh, do they take it a little too far sometimes? Yeah, but um, I think it's better that sometimes they take it a little too far uh, than to have them just not care at all because that just means uh, whatever you're doing sucks and is not interesting um, or something like that. But yeah, I, I do think some people take it too far. But, you know, between the choice of the two, right, of people just nobody cares and it's not interesting versus people care a little too much, well, it's not all bad, you know? You gotta look at the bright sides, I think. Hero, thanks for the sub, and Rose. But yeah, for sure, taking a little too far is a little crazy. But, you know, between the choice of the two, right? Um, yeah, as long as they don't get too rude about it. Something like that. Um, good take. I'd say it's the, the doormat take, because I'm trying to look at the bright side here. Um, but, you know, well, that's just how it goes. <laughs> um, let's see. Joe Lane, thanks for the sub. What are you playing? Probably not too much. We're just chilling with chat, telling some stories that I'm probably going to get going. Um, let's see. You're full of great takes? I don't think so, actually. I think I'm full of uh, weak takes. And that's because every situation I'm into, guys, I always try and look at the best possible outcome um, and try and go for that. And this is going to be a long, long shafil. But it's pretty much like... Most of the time, if you're mean to someone, there's never a good, you know, outcome from that, I think. Uh, let me explain with an, uh, an example, right? Let's say some dude is kind of a jerk to you, right? This dude's a jerk to you. Now, if you're mean to him back, there's no chance he's going to be nice to you. It's not like this guy yells at you, you yell at him, and he's like, you know what, I was super mad at you, but now that you yelled at me back, I'm not going to yell louder. I'm pretty sure, you know, if someone gets mad at you, you get mad at them back. They're just going to get more mad at you. So if you think about it, you can be nice to them. And yeah, it's going to hurt a lot. It's going to feel pretty dumb when you're nice to someone that you shouldn't have been nice to and they take advantage of that. But realistically, if you choose not to be nice to them, there's no chance of having a good result from that situation, you know? Because um, they're mean to you, you're mean to them. Well, it's over. Um, but if they're mean to you and you're nice back to them, they might still be mean to you. They might try and take advantage of that. But at the end of the day, that's the only chance you have to make them want to be nicer to you. Um, so, you know, it's kind of like a really like a pacific, like lame thing to do. But realistically, it's just the truth, you know, because um, if someone's angry and upset with you and they're being mean to you, you can't be mean back. Otherwise, there's no chance of, you know, making it better. And what's the point of doing anything if you're not trying to make it better? Something like that. Um, but it's not always that simple because, you know, if you're feeling bad, it's... It's, uh, it's easy to do bad things if you're feeling bad, too. You know, if someone's hurt, um, they don't always do the smart thing. Because I think everyone knows the smart thing to do. It's just not as easy to do it. 
So, point is, you got to give people the option to do the nice thing. And most of the time, I think they'll take it. Um, anyway, that was a wise lesson of the day, guys. The point is, you don't gain anything from being mean. And it's easy to say that. It's hard to do it um, for anybody. Because if you're feeling bad, you know, you, it's, it's hard to do that. Especially if you feel sad or you're upset. Even for me, you know? Um, anyway, XP, thanks for the 10 gifted XP. It's a whole bunch of gifted XP. And Joan, thanks for the 5 gifted also, Joan. Um, and Dance, thanks for the 5 gifted also, Dance. You're so wise. Oh, really? I think everybody feels the same way. It's just that, you know, sometimes when people feel bad, um, you know, it's, it's really easy to, you know, do something you probably shouldn't have when you're feeling sad, uh, if you're feeling hurt. It's not easy for everyone to do that. Um, but what's important is if you can do it, you can help someone who maybe wasn't as good, you know, holding the back or something. So that's all I can say, though. Uh, not talking about any specific situations. Um, but Olim, thanks for the sub, and Villager and Novus. All right. Um, I like your nose. What? Thanks. <laughs> um... Any new headphones? These ones actually aren't broken yet, but I do like earbuds because where I used to stream, guys, I didn't have an air conditioner for the longest time, and it was super hot. And when I wore a headset, it would make my ears... First of all, I didn't know your ears could sweat, okay? I didn't know your ears could sweat, and apparently they can. So when I wore a headset, my ears would get sweaty, and it's kind of is really weird. Um, so I prefer earbuds because it's not as hot. Um, and I, I have air conditioning now, but... When I first started streaming, I didn't have air conditioning. So, uh, yeah. Destiny, thanks for the sub. And Jessa, Miras, and Novus, thanks for the sub also. Did you go to EDC? Yep, it was pretty fun. It was pretty fun. I liked it a lot. I would go next year, uh, probably. I liked my, my outfit on the first day. Just saying, pretty cool looking. I like the colors. Um, did fans recognize you? Not very much. Um, not very much, but that's a good thing. I would have been nervous. Um... All right, Justa, thanks for the sub. Let's see. Um, how's meeting Buddha? It was great. I thought it, he was super nice, super fun too. I feel like, honestly, guys, sometimes like, uh, I feel like I'm I'm really lucky. I have a lot of a lot of friends that I somehow got to think I was cool. I have no idea how, but I think I have a lot of good friends, and I'm super lucky for that, guys. So. Really glad I went. Even the second day, I was like on the verge of death, guys. And it, it was still fun going. I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, wear the shark hoodie on stream, maybe. <laughs> maybe for Halloween or something. I don't know. Um, but I, that was my first time wearing it, so. Yeah. Um, I mean, it was comfy. It was pretty warm, and I like the colors. It's pretty soft and squishy. It feels like you're wearing a blanket. Is that a bad way to describe it? Um, cause I, I got the biggest, like a slightly oversized one. Um, cause I just thought it'd be more comfy. It just felt like I was wearing a big blanket. So I, I kind of like that feeling. Um, oversized hoodies are pretty comfy, I think. Um, let's see. Valk, Maggie, and Wizard. Thanks for the subs. And Cyndaquil. Um, oh, and Azzy. Thanks for the sub also. Um, um. It's like a Snuggie. Oh, God. You mean those blankets with the hands? <laughs> that is from so long ago. Um, I don't I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah. Did you meet Toast? Yeah, of course. Toast is one of my good friends, for sure. Um, let's see. Big, thanks for the sub. Hmm? Um, sold? Oh, God. Not sponsored. Um, don't recommend. I'm just kidding. I don't know. Um, Achi, thanks for the sub. Is there a code? Uh, no, but, you know, let me, uh, guys, don't, don't buy it. Let me, uh, message them and see if I, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know. Um, let's see. Who noticed you the most? What's that supposed to mean? Um, I have no idea. I'm not sure. San, thanks for the sub. And, uh, Bib, thanks for the sub also. Um, and Watery, thanks for the sub also. Let's see. Are you joining Dream SMP? I, I don't think so, and I actually wasn't able to watch it, but I heard Tina joined, and that was super cool. I was able to watch it for a little bit, but obviously I, I was a smidgen, you know, a little morsel busy, so wasn't able to, but it looked like she had a lot of fun, so that was pretty awesome. Um, Salty, thanks for the sub. 
All right. Any plans for CB merch? Um, I'm trying to get my own merch made in some kind of timely manner. I don't know if we'll get it soon enough, but uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully, I can get it done soon. Um, but uh, did you break it down on the dance floor? No, but Leslie did. Leslie's actually really good at dancing. A little bit jealous, but I mean, I'm just too nervous, guys. Too nervous. Oh, man. Okay, so there's one time where... Uh, so, so Leslie and uh, like a bunch of friends, you know, that like they try and get me to dance and by that I mean they just grab my hand and shake it around randomly and like One time they were doing that and like I was trying to and then some random this but not ran this person walked up and was like Oh my god, are you Saikuno? And I just froze because I was like, oh my god They like saw me like doing some cringe cringe dance and they're like, oh my god, is it, are you Saikuno? And I just froze and didn't say anything. And they were like, uh, okay. And then they left. And I was like, man, I just lost a subscriber right there. Um, <laughs> it, was, it was awkward, guys. It was, it was awkward. I, if, um, yeah, hopefully they don't see that. But um, you blew, I mean, what was I supposed to do? I was just caught so off guard. I was like, oh god, well, they just saw me sitting there. Uh, that was pretty awkward. Um, but, you know... <laughs> I don't know. Um, Ramen, thanks for the sub, man. CB. They ruined your vibe? No, they didn't. It was it was pretty cool. I was just really nervous. Um, you know, it's not a bad thing. They'll see it. If they do, I hope they don't feel like they made me feel awkward. No, okay, they made me feel awkward, but it wasn't a bad thing. I appreciated it. So that person's out there. I think they were cosplaying as like pain from Naruto or something. That person's out there. They're totally fine. I feel like they probably felt bad because... Um, you know, like, yeah, I hope they didn't feel bad. It was totally fine. They were pretty cool. Um, I'm just kind of, I just get nervous. I'm not used to talking to people in real life or even online sometimes, depending on the person. But, uh, yeah. Um, Vora, thanks for the sub. All right. Did you borrow anyone's clothes again? Um, I think the second day since... All right, guys, here's, I, I think I already mentioned this, but basically the first day we showed up so late, I was, I was supposed to go home because, um, you know, I live in Las Vegas. So I was going to go home. I left all my stuff there. And the second day, I just borrowed like a 100 Thieves sweater because I didn't have any other clothes. I was scuffed. I probably smelled a little bad. Like, I, I don't know. I wasn't ready. You got to buy some new pants. Guys, I did not have, well, okay, I'm not going to lie. I don't have that many pants. I probably do need to buy new pants, but... Other than that, okay, I literally, I was going to go home and change my clothes, but we got back at like 8 a.m. in the morning, and then like, I was like, I didn't bring any clothes, I didn't bring anything, but like, I was there, and then Tony and Mr. Lang landed at like 2 p.m., and I woke up, we went to bed at like probably 9 a.m. or so, and then I woke up at like 2 p.m., and they're like, hey guys, we just landed, let's come hang out, and I was like, I could just go home. And then come back in like an hour after I can like take a shower, like get all dressed, all that stuff. That's why the second day I was so scuffed looking because like I was not ready and they had already shown up. And I was like, man, they just like express like spur of the moment flew out to hang out. Like I don't want to waste like a, a minute like getting ready if they don't mind. So I was just like, let's just hang out. I don't care. I looked super scuffed though, but you know, that's okay. Please buy new shoes. Guys, guys. If you want me to get new shoes, send them in the P.O. box. No, I'm just kidding. Um, look, guys, I don't use shoes very often. I actually think somebody did send me shoes in the P.O. box last year. And I, I think I never took them out yet. I probably should at some point. You know what shoes I kind of want to maybe get? So Tony and Mr. Lang both wear um, not sponsored. Wait, do I have a conf I don't think I have any clothes sponsors that would get upset. But they have a certain uh, shoe... I, I, I'm just not going to say it for fear of something weird happening. Um, but they, they have, like, these shoes. Uh, Tony and Mr. Lang both like them a lot. Um, yeah, so maybe maybe we can get those who will be matching or something like that. Size. I'm usually nine and a half, I think. But you guys, don't actually send me a bunch of shoes. I'm going to get, like, ten pairs of shoes. When, realistically, I only need one because I go out once a month maximum. So <laughs> you don't have to. I'll just, I'll just find ones that I like. It'd be cool, though. You know, like, uh, Lilac and, uh, Lunga and Crazy. Thanks for the subs. Um, Butta's Jordans. Guys, Tony's shoes, he told me, cost, like, 
Wait, am I really gonna expose? Look, everyone knows Tony has fancy stuff, so it's not even exposing him. Tony's shoes are like expensive, expensive. And I was just like, I'm pretty sure his shoes alone cost more than every single article of clothing I've ever bought in my whole life. Um, so <laughs> that's pretty much all I can say. Um, shows, thanks. Wait, oh, this guy's name is Shoes. Shoes, thanks for the five gifted subs, Shoes. That's a crazy coincidence, but thanks a bunch. Um, I don't know. All right, what is the EDC? I'm not completely sure. It's like a music festival. Um, it's super crowded. A little bit concerned, but hopefully everyone's okay. Um, it was fun for sure. Let's see. Um, hmm? Tony gonna send you that? I hope not, guys. Um, because uh, he has expensive stuff. Ryan has the same stream title as you. Does wait? Is he even? No. Oh. Catching up with chat short stream. What? He copied my stream title. I can't believe it. Um. Okay. Oh, monkey! Thanks for the sub and Kyle and maybe Lamal. No, that's okay. Maybe I, I honestly I wish I could hang out with Ryan a little bit more. You know, since we both live in this stuff, but you know. How dare it's okay. Ryan's super cool, guys. You know that. Um, anyway. Mm, the P.O. Box clothing. Actually, a lot of the stuff I wear on stream is from the P.O. Box. So, yeah. Um, oh, Teddy, thanks for the sub. Um, EDC. It was fun. It was fun. I would actually go again next year. Um, I'll try and plan out a little better for next year. And I think I just do one day and leave. Only just chatting today. It's more of a short stream, guys. I probably got to go soon, actually. Um, do you do your own laundry or go to a laundromat? I usually do my own laundry. Uh, laundromat, I'm not going to lie, guys. It just feels like more of a hassle. I, I don't know why. If you, like some places you live, you don't have your own washing machine. But that's crazy. Imagine going out, like driving out to bring your dirty laundry to a laundromat and then pick it up and go back. I feel like that's more work. I feel like it's easier to just do it at home. Um, well, that's just what I think. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, Nin, thanks for the sub. In Deward. Um, what's your pants size? Pants? I think I'm like 32, 32, uh, like 30 something. 32 is a waste, I think. Ryan said to come over. Uh, right now? Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> River, thanks for the sub. Yeah, that could be fun. Um, I did. I did want to get dinner with, or I did want to hang out with my friends because I think they're leaving today anyway, and I'm a little pooped out, so I was gonna do a short stream. So, um, yeah. All right, guys. I, I think I'm gonna go get ready, and uh, I know it's sort of a short stream, but it's gonna be a short stream anyway, guys. Read the title. So. Um, I think that's probably it for today. We'll be back tomorrow with like more more regular streams with like games and stuff I just want to do like a short quick stream update you guys on like, you know the weekend. It was super fun I was so glad to see all my friends and stuff like that um, Come over <laughs> um, That sounds fun, but that's probably it for today guys. I'll be back tomorrow probably with regular streams and all that um, But yeah super short stream today. Thanks for chilling guys. Um, we'll see you guys soon, I hope. Well, we'll see you guys tomorrow, I think. Um, well, that's it for today. I hope you guys like listening to all the stories. There's probably a lot more that I missed and forgot to tell, but there's always next time, guys. Um, but, yep, I think that's about it for today, guys. Let's turn on some... All right. Well, anyways, guys, um, thanks a bunch for coming to the stream today. I know it was a short one. Hopefully it was fun just talking about random stories and stuff like that. Um, I'm probably gonna go hang out with friends for a little bit because I do think I'm super lucky guys to have so many good friends. I think uh, I don't know. I don't know. Never thought I'd be in this situation. So um, Thanks a bunch for coming guys really appreciate you all for you know, just coming to hang out uh, and Listen to me talk about the random crazed weekend. I had I'm sure there's more stuff. I forgot about we'll talk about it next time Well, that's it for today guys. Thanks a bunch for coming to the stream. I really appreciate you all and uh Hope I see you guys next stream, too. Probably tomorrow or something. We'll get back on games and all that. Um, but, yep. Thanks for making my stream a great place to be, guys. Really appreciate you all. And uh, see you guys next time, I hope.
Thanks a bunch, everyone. See, see you next time. P probably tomorrow. All right. Bye, everyone. Thanks a bunch. See, see you later. So, sorry for the short stream today. All right. Bye.